What is going on, you beautiful human beings? I hope you're doing well. Happy Monday morning. It was a good long weekend for me. I got uh, a lot of stuff done from my jiu-jitsu competition to spending time with the Risen Fallen group to having a, you know, a heartfelt conversation with uh, Teddy as well, which kind of uh, was difficult to have, but uh, moved our relationship in the right direction. Uh, welcome to the Risen Fallen podcast. I'm your host, Mark Hendrickson, and this, if you're brand new, uh, to the podcast is a podcast where you can, you know, hear open and authentic conversations about things like mental health, self development, and uh, you know these types of conversations that I'm talking about, moving your your life, your relationships, your um, your path in the right direction, and feeling a little bit more confident and feeling like you're, you know, going in the right direction to begin with. Because a lot of the time we talk about. Uh, pushing forward, moving forward, and sometimes that direction forward isn't a clear direction for all of us. Sometimes we feel like we're stuck in a position where, you know, we don't know which direction to go to. And so when we hear to keep moving forward, to keep pushing, we're thinking, well, which direction even is forward? And so um, that's what you can expect. If you're not new to this podcast, if you're a returning listener, if you're a returning viewer, uh, whether you're watching this on YouTube or listening to the podcast on your favorite podcast platform thank you for supporting the show uh remember to like comments and subscribe on youtube if that's where you're viewing this or uh just rate it five stars or leave a little review on your favorite podcast platform because it helps your boy in the algorithms um so happy monday morning uh, i hope that your uh, monday is starting off strong if you're watching this it's probably monday evening uh because these podcasts drop on YouTube at 5 p.m. on Mondays and Thursdays. And uh, if you're listening to the podcast, if you're a fan of just listening to these recordings, then you know that they drop at 5 a.m. on uh, podcast platforms on Mondays and Thursdays as well. So happy Monday. Hope you're doing well. Uh, before I jump into this, let's just take a second to uh, breathe, to uh, think about things that we're thankful for, think about things that we're grateful for, and for me right now, that is sipping this hot cup of coffee. So if you got a coffee in front of you, then uh, let's sip it together right now. Let's, let's take a second and take a sip together. Oh, that's good. God, that's good. Okay, sorry. i uh big fan of coffee. I'm going to take one more sip before I go on this little rant. Today's going to be a little bit of a short and sweet episode Um, I know I say that often. I know I say that a lot of the time. Um, and then I end up rambling on for about half an hour today. I'm going to try and keep it a little bit shorter and a little bit sweeter. Um, but however long it takes me to get through my thoughts and ideas today and and for you guys to come along on that journey, that's how long it takes. So, uh, I'm going to try my best not to, uh, ramble on forever, but I'm also going to try my best to get through all of the ideas that I have going through my brain right now. Like I said, I had a um, good conversation with Teddy today, good conversation with the Risen Fallen group. We went for coffee uh, after a little church service this Sunday morning. Um, and then we, uh, yeah, we went to a little coffee shop here uh, in uh, Vancouver. And um, it was actually in North Delta because I was on the way home from church. And then we uh, we just sat in the coffee shop, had a little drink each, and then had a little treat, had a little bite to eat. And uh, had good conversation. We were there for like two hours and it, it just flew by. So, um, yeah, I got a lot of ideas going on in my brain right now. After those conversations, I went for a little run to kind of compose myself and get my mind back in a, you know, a good, positive, constructive direction. And then uh, did my meal prep and uh, just kind of getting ready for my work week here. So uh, I thought I'd just come on here and spout off a couple ideas and see what you guys think of them. But before I start rambling on, I'm going to take one more sip of my coffee here. You guys, excuse me, I just burped. But if you have a coffee in front of you, if you have a drink in front of you, a, a water or protein shake or something hopefully somewhat nutritious or something that gives you a little bit of comfort, a little bit of go-go juice, that's what I like to call my coffee sometimes, Uh, Let's take a sip together, and then uh, I'll get into this conversation. Cheers.
Goodness, that's good. Um, so, what I was thinking about a lot today is uh, part of the conversation that I had with Teddy, part of the conversation that we had with, um, you know, a couple of the members of the mental health group here in Vancouver, and we were just kind of chatting about a lot about relationships today, a lot about um, moving those relationships in the right direction, thinking more as, um, you know, you and your partner being one, one, uh, one mind, one body, one uh, direction, one goal together, as opposed to two individuals that are just kind of existing together, sharing a space together, and uh, fighting for your own individual wants and needs, and uh, etc., and part of that is a big value that relates to mental health and self-development and leadership and a lot of the positive things that we want to strive towards uh, in today's society with a lot of us having the types of goals that we have. And I think that the biggest part of, you know, uh, making positive steps forward uh, in your relationship, in your mental health, in your workplace, in your self-development journey, um, you know, in your leadership journey or anything like that is being able to ask for help when you need it. Um, being able to know in what areas you need to ask for help. Uh, being able to know what you can delegate to others and having trust in others that they won't let you down and um, to be able to have grace for them when they do kind of fall short of your expectations and to not set your expectations uh, too high in certain areas. This all comes down to communication. And without communication, it's very difficult uh, to run a social group, a network, uh, to have a relationship, to have a, a good, positive workplace, to have anything work properly at all. Uh, it's going to need good, clear, concise, forgiving and honest communication. And so the very first part of that is being able to ask for help. Uh, before you even ask for help or you're able to even ask for help, you'd have to know where you need some help. And that takes a lot of humbling um, kind of reflection, whether you do that through conversation, whether you do that through kind of how the way I like to go through my thoughts, which is just to be able to speak about these things with other people. Sometimes it's just to my phone. Sometimes it's through journaling. Uh, however you like to do your reflection, whether you want to talk to a loved one about it, whether you want to talk to uh, a counselor about it, uh, just to be able to have a conversation with yourself or somebody else about where you need help in life. Um, whether that's you know, delegation of tasks or just one big task that you're working on. Uh, I know that, you know, in our relationship, a lot of the time it can feel like, you know, I'm sure Teddy, my girlfriend, if you were to ask her, she feels like a lot of the times, you know, she's kind of having to take the load of, you know, a lot of responsibility in our relationship. I sometimes feel like that as well. And, you know, those times where we both feel like that, are times where we know that we're off on our communication. We're, we're not being able to ask for help. We're not being able to even know where to start or where to ask for help in our relationship. You know, hey, I need a little hand with this. I need a hand with that. Uh, could you spend a little bit of time taking care of this so I can focus more on that? You know, to be able to figure out where you even need the help. And then to be humble enough to say, hey, look, I need a little bit of help. I need a hand. And that's maybe pretty personal and that maybe relates a lot to my relationship and, and maybe you guys can relate to that. Maybe you kind of feel the same way. Maybe you have a relationship in your life, whether it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, uh, your parents, your friends, your coworkers, your, uh, your boss at work even. Uh, it could be literally any so sort of relationship you have with another human being is just knowing, hey, I'm struggling with this right now and I need a little bit of help. And to be able to do anything great, whether it's having a great relationship, having a great workplace, or, or working towards building something great, um, there's no leader in the world, there's no uh, partnership in the world that is successful without one person being able to ask another person, hey, I need a little bit of help here. I'm struggling with this. I'm struggling with that. So just being able to be humble enough to know where you need to ask for help and then being able to ask somebody that you love, that you trust, that you want to impress. Because sometimes it's part of an ego thing. Like you don't want to, you know, put the load on them. 
You want them to see you as somebody that doesn't need help. You know, maybe you want to seem trustworthy. You want to seem dependable. You want to seem like you're strong enough to take on the world by yourself. And I think that it shows true strength to know when it's okay or know when it's the right time or an appropriate time to ask for help. And I think the other side of that as well is to be receptive of that when someone else needs it as well. And so to be a safe place for, you know, your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your parents or your boss or your coworkers or your teammates or even just a friend that you have, to be a safe place for them, you know, and uh, to be an open book for them to come to you and say, you know, that they need help, that they need a little bit of assistance, that maybe they're struggling. And I think a lot of us, and myself included, I'm probably the number one victim of this or the number one perpetrator of this is probably a better word for it, of, you know, always having my plate full, always having, you know, too many things that I have to take care of to the point where I wake up in the morning at four o'clock and I'm working towards my goals until fucking nine o'clock at night until I'm crashing for bed, which is good. It's a productive way to live life. But where does that create space for somebody that depends on me to ask for help? And maybe not everybody has the same schedule as me. Maybe you don't have the exact same schedule. Maybe you don't have the same lifestyle. You don't have the same goals or ambitions or things that you're working towards. But I know a lot of us struggle with, you know, being able to be there for other people, whether we're willing and ready to admit that or not. You know, we're also absorbed in our... Uh, things that we're working towards, whether that's just creating a healthier lifestyle, whether that's just creating, um, you know, a routine or a, a, a way out of the misery that we're in right now. And we're so caught up in that, that we forget that, you know, some of the greatest joys in life, some of the greatest things that can make us feel good or make the journey feel worthwhile is to be able to share that experience with others. And if we're not able to help other people out, whether it's um, making them feel heard, making them feel safe, making them feel fulfilled, making them feel happy, you know, if we're not able to provide that safe place for somebody to come to you and ask for help, we're going to lose that person. We're going to lose that relationship in our life. And we're going to find ourselves kind of trying to drag a stone uphill or, or trying you know, complete a a difficult task for our whole lives. We're going to be gunning towards goals, not understanding that we're slowly, uh, by not creating a safe place for the, the people around us that we love, we're slowly pushing them away. Which can be a scary thought. Because I know a lot of us, especially men, I think we can, can relate to this. We feel like... You know, we're working all day, we're working all night, we're working as hard as we possibly can to create a better future for the people around us, not knowing that by only focusing on that goal, we're pushing the people around us away. By not creating a place for them to feel accepted, to feel like they're contributing, to feel like they're loved or thought of or cared for. And so today I just wanted to start you off with this, this kind of prompt on, on this Monday morning or evening or whenever you're listening to this um, to know that if you're going towards something ambitious, you're going towards a big goal, you're going towards something that seems daunting or fulfilling or, or whatever it is, you know, to reflect on why you're doing it, to reflect on who you're doing it for and to include them in that goal for you and for them as well to include the people around you in your journey, to know when it's okay and appropriate and and the right time to ask for help. And if you want to create a better place, maybe, you know, the first step could be offering help, you know, asking your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your parents or your boss or your uh, coworkers or anybody around you that you want to create a good, loving, trustful relationship with to ask them, hey, is there anything I can give you a hand with? Is there, is there any area in our lives that I can help you in? Is there a better way I can support you in this thing? 
Is there a better way I can support you with that? Is there, you know, you could even ask, is there a way that I can be better at communicating? Is there a way that I can support you better? Is the the end all and be all? Because at the end of the day, nobody, not any of us, whether you're listening to this or uh, you're watching this or um, I guess those are the only two options, you know, nobody can create anything great by themselves. Nobody can do really anything. And, and, you know, it wouldn't even be good to do. It wouldn't be a good, a noble thing to pursue, to, to uh, live your life in a, in a fashion of, you know, doing everything by yourself for yourself. You know, I think all of us can relate to the idea of being lonely, feeling alone. And no matter what you achieve in this life, if you're not able to share that with somebody that you love, that you trust, that you feel welcomed by or welcome around or supported by, if you're not able to have those types of people around you, nothing you achieve is going to feel worthwhile. You know, if you have nobody to share it with, you're going to still have this longing, this void inside of you. And I don't think any achievement will be able to fill that void. And so, like I said, as you start this week, you know, this Monday morning, this Monday evening, whenever you're listening to this, you know, think about the people that you love. Think about the people that you support. Think about the people that support you. And think about how you could ask them for something, ask them for help, and how you could support them better. You know, and I've talked about this idea before as well. A lot of us, I'd say most of us, I'd say, I'd, I'd go out on a limb and say all of us, you know, except for some uh, sociopaths out there, feel good when we help other people. We feel good when our efforts are appreciated, when we feel like we have value to other people. And one of the best ways we can do that, to feel like we have value to contribute to other people, is to help them. And so, when you ask somebody for help and they're able to help you, then you're giving them that opportunity to feel valuable to you. And if you are, are, are and in a way this is being selfish, if you're selfish and you don't ask for help because you want the glory of being a, a self-made person, and you want to achieve all your goals by yourself, you're robbing the people around you that love you and want to support you of the opportunity of doing that very thing. And if you feel that void inside of, you know, you you don't have a lack of, or you don't have a uh, an ample source of self-worth, you don't have a lot of confidence, you don't have a lot of self-esteem, you're struggling with this feeling of worthlessness or a low value, you know, I think one of the best ways to do that, to, to fill that void, is to help those around you. And so that could be done by asking somebody, hey, is there any way I can improve? Is there any way I can support you better? Is there anything that you need? Is there anything I can help you with? And then to actually try your best to strive towards helping them with that thing. Because having the conversation is not enough. Your actions have to back it up. I think that's pretty much it. So that was pretty short and sweet. You know, we're under 20 minutes right now. I'm going to try and wrap this up right here and now. But uh, just be there for the people around you. And give them the opportunity to be there for you. And I think that no matter what you achieve together, it's going to feel more worthwhile than anything that you can do by yourself. So that's all I got for today. I'm going to wrap it up here. Happy Monday. Uh, It is going to be a good week. I'm giving you guys all that uh, little affirmation right now. It's going to be a good week. Uh, As long as you can ask for help and you can help the people around you, uh, you're going to feel better and you're going to help other people feel better as well. That's all I got for today. Uh, we do have the Risen Fallen group as well. The, the, the weekly in-person meetups are still a thing as well uh, moving forward for the rest of the year. So if you're in the Vancouver area, you want to connect, you want to build a little bit more community, you want to be there for others, and you want a group of people that can be there for you, reach out to me on Instagram. It's at Risen Fallen. 
Uh, I'll include you in the group chat as well so you can come out for the you know in-person meetups. The weeks that we don't have in-person meetups, we're going to meet up on Zoom. Uh, we're going to connect every single weekend. Uh, that's my promise to you to try and create a little bit more connection and a little bit more connectivity, uh, a little bit more community of people that want to lift themselves up and lift other people up. And on the weeks that you feel like you can't lift yourself up, you're going to have a community of people that can help lift you up. And uh, we also have the daily group chat on Telegram where we talk about these types of topics. Sometimes people share quotes or Instagram posts or videos that they, they feel like make them feel good. But uh, if you want to join in on that, like I said, reach out to me on Instagram. It's at Risen Fall and we can connect there. Um, the other thing I was going to say, oh. Of course, the uh, we do have the Risen Fallen merch as well, which helps fund these in-person meetups, uh, the purchases of the hoodies, the tees, all those comfortable, stylish, great things uh, that we offer are on the website, risenfallen.com, so you can support the group. If you're not in the Vancouver area and you're like, fuck, I really vibe with this message, I really vibe with this kind of movement that is going on in the Vancouver area, uh, you want to support that. Uh, you can you can uh, grab a hoodie, grab a tee, show your support, show people around you that you care about mental health and their well-being. And um, that's where the proceeds of the apparel go towards is these in-person meetups. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a good week. I hope you guys have a good um, you know day today and reflect on uh, where you could ask for help and reflect on where you can help others. That's all I got for you guys. I love you all. Much love and peace out, you beautiful fucking human beings. Bye.